For the Oxy project, which is being developed by Immobel and our partner Whitewood, we have set from the beginning a very high goal to achieve the taxonomy uh, um, standards that the EU prescribes to achieve a carbon neutral building. So it's our ADN, it's our DNA that we really want to achieve the highest possible goal. And in order to achieve this, we wanted to dismantle and reuse the building as much as possible. So that means that we analyze the building from A to Z and we analyze also the facade in the search of how we can optimize and reuse or recycle the facade as much as possible. And together with AGC, we really found out that the existing glazing had a high quality and we could recycle the existing glazing from the building from the 70s in a future-proof building from, uh, uh, that will be delivered in 2026. If we talk about embodied carbon and a CO2 neutral building, we really have to search that all materials that come on site have the lowest possible carbon footprint. In order to have an A-grade building, so a building that is on a CO2 level, uh, a level A, we really source and we really need to find materials that achieve that goal. And the low carbon glazing that comes out from the recycle of the old facade really has a positive impact on achieving the carbon neutrality of the future building. It is in fact true that by creating grade A buildings which have a very low carbon footprint that this is a driver for a higher rent, a higher sales price, but also a demand from investors and occupiers that really look to optimize their ESG and their, uh, their carbon uh, footprint as well. So from a financial point of view, yes, it is important that we create future-proof buildings, but also from a, from a society point of view, it is important for us that the buildings that we create have a, as low as, as possible impact on the future generations from a social and an ecological point of view.